Hello Shopify world, happy 2021. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and in this video, I'm going to show you how to code a feature product slider into your Shopify store. All right, before we continue, if you go down below, right next to the subscribe button, there is a link. If you follow that link, you put in some information, you are going to receive a file into your email. That file will have all of the code that we are going to go over and paste into our Shopify store. Um, so you don't have to rewrite it and pause the video and just copy and paste it, follow the link down below and that's done. After this video is done, you will have a feature product slider that will look just like this. And actually let's stop talking and start coding. So let's just straight into our demo store. And here we are into our demo store. Let me show you right now so that you know I'm not bamboozling you. Um, and there is no feature product slider right here. It's a horrible, ugly store. Sorry about that. So let's change that. We're going to go into the online store section right here. And this is a super important. If you skip this step, you are a idiot. I apologize, but you are. The first thing you have to do, super important, is go to your live team or the team that you want to install your changes on. Go to actions and click on duplicate. The reason is we're going to be working on a backup version of the live team. So if something in the code here messes up or if it doesn't fit with your team or anything else, at least you're not stuck with a broken store. You can just continue on the live team. So you can mess up all you want right here. It's not going to affect your live visitors. So please duplicate it, super important. Okay. Once that is done, we're going to go on the copy, as I mentioned, so we can mess stuff up and we're going to click on action and then edit codes because it's time to jump into the code. I'm sorry, this is a little, um, a little app. Normally you don't have this section, but you will have this entire section right here. And so we will go to the sections section here on the left. We're going to choose add a new section, the blue button. And when we have to name the section, we're going to use the exact naming provided in the document below on the link. So again, just follow the link, put in your information, you should get it into your email address. So this is the exact title. Make sure there is no spacing before or after. Oh, I wasn't connected before or after. So make sure it's exactly the same. And then we create the section. Once the section is created, something like this should pop up. So a little basic piece of code. Uh, and we're going to be replacing that with the code that is provided in the document. Granted, it's not the shortest piece of code, but we're going to select all of this, delete it, and then just paste the entire block of code that is provided, like I said, in the link. Now it's pretty long. So make sure it starts with um, pop, pop, pop make sure it starts with script source and then unpackage.com and it ends with the end schema. And this is how it ends. You should have around 207 lines of code. All right, so that's done correctly. Let's click save right here. Now we just have to go to the theme.liquid, which is all the way up here in the layouts directory. You have theme.liquid, you open that. And then anywhere in the head right here, we're going to be putting um, that other piece of code that we pasted. I like to put it, uh, pop, pop, pop. let's see. Yeah, I like to keep it pretty simple. Put it actually right after the head tag. So right here, you can do as many spacings as you want. So this doesn't change anything. So um, it's purely aesthetical. And then I'm going to be pasting those two lines right here. Personally, I like to comment also. So I do this by doing exclamation mark, dash, dash, dash. This is two lines for the product um, feature slider, dash, dash, dash. And there we go. And then uh, the future, actually I can even do start lines for so what i'm doing right now is i'm just commenting it it just makes it easier for the next dev to kind of understand why this is here um you know as they say in development work you spend about an 
one tenth of your time actually writing the code and nine tenths of the time trying to understand what other people wrote. So good commenting is actually really, really important. And obviously this would be the end at that point. All right, so we can save that. There we go. Um, and that is it for everything that's code. So we're going to jump back into the online store right here. Obviously, we have not worked on this version. We have been working on this version right here. So we click customize. And then we just do add section right here. And then it should be under slider here, collection slider, we select that. Uh, then it's going to ask us which collection we want to showcase. So I'm going to showcase this. Oh, no, maybe not that collection. Um, there we go. The all connections. Select how many products to show images with. Um, so you can play with all of that right here. And then if you save, you have the nice little slider um, that works. So let's actually double check that. We're going to exit right here. We're going to go to actions preview. See if it's here. Yes, the feature collector slider is here indeed. Perfect. So we like how it looks and we want to go back to the online store themes, the version we have worked on. We click on action. We click on publish. It's going to ask us, are you sure you want to make this version that you just created live for everyone to see? And yes, I am pretty sure. And we click publish and that's it. Now it's live on our theme. Um, well, I'm going to say it looks good, but it doesn't really because the design of my team now sucks, but I'm sure it's going to look fantastically good on your theme. It works exactly as expected. So there you go. That's how you add a feature product slider onto your homepage. I hope this information was pretty useful for you. If you want more Shopify development videos like this, where you learn new stuff, uh, make sure to subscribe, make sure to tell your friends that have Shopify stores that this was useful. Make sure to ask all of your questions below. I actually answer them here below and not like on Facebook or an email. Don't do that. Just ask them right here below. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. I also do strategy videos. I do app review videos, everything that has to do with Shopify. Make sure to check out the channel. I love you all and I see you in another video. Adios.